Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Here's our special guest host, Leah Remini. So this is Wendy's show and your show. So to those in the audience and for those at home, in keeping with tradition, I want you all to give me a big, how you doing? How you doing? Love it. All right, thank you so much. Let's get it going. time since I had that kind of energy from an audience. Thank you so much. Beautiful. And hello, DJ Suss One, how are you? Yeah, I'm Leah, what up? I'm how happy to see you. you. How are you, baby? I'm doing good, how you doing? Good, and you smell good, by the way, just for everybody at home. <laughs> all men should wear cologne at all times. <laughs> Norman? Leah? What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want to say welcome. I'm Thank such you. a longtime fan of yours. I'm Thank so you. happy you're here, and I can't wait for you to rock it. Baby, thank you. Thank you for having me. I want to say hello to Suzanne. Hi. Everybody give everybody. And by the way, this crew, thank you to this crew. You guys have welcomed me with open arms. Aww. Thank you so Yay. much. I want to thank you so much for welcoming me into your homes this week. I have been a guest here many, many times. Wendy, thank you so much for trusting me, having me, and we are all wishing you well and get your ass back to work. Yeah. And it is so nice to be back in my hometown. I don't know if you guys know this, I am from Brooklyn. <laughs> Benson Hurst, to be exact. Wait, did I get, oh no, I didn't get, I didn't, get, I didn't get a woo, did I? Because I will start coming out there. I will come out there to that audience. Oh, you doing that to me? You got the wrong, you got the wrong bitch. You, because I will come. So when they asked me to do this show, uh, my first instinct was to say no, not be, because I hate flying, okay? Really, I have a big, Fear of flying. And by the way, special guest here today, Lupe. Lupe. So, Lupe, as you know, is Jennifer Lopez's mother, but she's also, also, big fan of the show. The first thing you did was text me and be like, I better be there. You better come pick me up. I better come. <laughs> I, the first thing I did was say, I am so happy you for you. That. Congratulations. You You're going to do great. Thank you. That's the first thing I. <laughs> Lupe. Yeah. I love you, baby. I, I love know. You. You're, 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 and she is my friend, okay? So she is a friend independent of her daughter, Jennifer. Thank you. Yes. And I love you, <laughs> right? <laughs> we spend hours on the phone, hours on the phone together. Yes, we do. And yes, when we we're do. together, we, it's me and you starting trouble. All the time. Yes. All the time. <laughs> right? And we love it, right? We need to take our show. We got a show. We got to take our show on the road. Uh, yeah, you and I. <laughs> but she's a beautiful person, beautiful, beautiful mother, beautiful grandma, and great oh, friend. Yes. Yeah, so thank, thank you, you for my being love. here. 
Thank you, thank you. You're, you're the best. You know I love you like a daughter. I know you do. Thank you, Lupe. <laughs> and by the way, Lupe, your daughter Jennifer has invited me to all these trips around the world, you know, right? I absolutely know that, and you and, always say no. And I always say no. <laughs> Because I have a fear of fly. She's like, oh, do you want to go on Dolce & Gabbana's yacht? No, I don't. <laughs> I know. She does the same to me, and I say no, too. <laughs> Thank you. Because we don't love flying. We don't love Okay, flying. but I am here. And also, as I, as I get older, I'm realizing, like, I, I just can't live my, my life in fear. Like, I have to do things that are uncomfortable, <laughs> right? Like, we're very used to doing things that, we, you know, are comfortable to us and things, you know, our fear. And by the way, what I learned, you guys, is you don't have to do it without the fear. Just do it despite the fear. Yeah. Despite the fear. Yeah. Right? You gotta live. Yeah. Like, for example, do I know how to host a show? No, I do not, Norman. <laughs> do I know how to do a talk show? I think, I think we all know my first show didn't work out quite well. Oh. Oh. And so... It's really okay. <laughs> um, and do I know how to host a, like a game show? No, I don't, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> but I'm doing it anyway, and I love it. Did I know that I would write a New York Times bestseller? No, I didn't. I have an eighth grade, <laughs> right? <laughs> because I was raised in, a, in, a, in an abusive environment, in a, an abusive cult who did not look kindly on education, right? They put you down, they make you feel dependent. And here I am, I wrote a book. And I, like, and, and I, yet, and then I had the audacity to go, I want an education. Not only do I want an education, but I applied for this year and got into NYU. <laughs> Thank you. Scared out of my mind. You gotta do math. Oh. I had to hire a tutor. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> anyway, I am, I am trying to live my best life, and if that's a message, really, like, it does, you're never too old, you're never too young, you're never too this, you're never too that. You do you. <laughs> and by the way, I can't do what I, what I do without a support system around me. I have friends that I consider family. I have an amazing husband, amazing mother, amazing friends that I consider family. And one of those friends I brought with me, I have known for 20 years. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's a Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> It's Jennifer Lopez, right? I mean, her mom's here. It's Jennifer Lopez, right? Everything's about Jennifer, Lupe. <laughs> no, I have not. other friends. What? It's not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I have other friends, Norman. So, so then it's They're Kevin not James. all celebrities. <laughs> it's Kevin James, right? <laughs> it is not. It is not Kevin James. Okay. It is not J-Lo, although I, it's not that I wouldn't like, but I brought one of my closest friends. Uh-huh. You might know her from, if you're my, of my age. <laughs> Little girl group called Seduction. <laughs> and if you're a tri-stater, you might know her from the radio on WKTU. <laughs> or even a little show that has like 50 trillion Emmys called RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> One of my besties, and not in a fake Hollywood way, my bestie, Michelle Passage. Yeah! How you doing? That's Is why that she right? doesn't not do it. Great? That's why she doesn't it's do it. It's not great? No. Okay. No, 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 no. I love you. I love you. Uh, Norman, I'm going to talk to you later. So, yeah, we'll talk. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. We'll talk later. We, we bond. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jennifer Lopez, Kevin James. Do you okay. love that Michelle? <laughs> Norman, do you love that Michelle's here? I am freaking out that okay. Michelle is here. <laughs> 
Uh, I am freaking out that I am on the Wendy Williams set now. You know I'm a radio girl. I did 17 years of morning radio right here in New York City. And growing up here, Plainfield, New Jersey, in the house. Um, growing, not a lot of, not a, not, not a lot. Uh, you said Benson her, uh, no, no, no. You said Benson Hurst, and they booed. So, um, uh, they didn't boo. I heard boo. One person boo. Okay. Then we were gonna fight. Okay. And then we changed our mind a little bit, right? We changed our mind. And when you, you realized that I'm not that person, <laughs> that I will come out there. But if she fights, I got her back. No, but then I got this. But then I got. That's true. You do have my back in I many do. ways. I Go do. ahead. Speaking of which, so I'm yeah. so excited that we're here on Wendy's yeah. show because for me, being in radio, Wendy was my radio idol. She was my mentor in my head. She was my everything. I would get off the air in the morning and listen to Wendy in the afternoon. She was everything. She killed the rating. She was it. Yeah. So for me, when I was called the white Wendy, it was, was everything. The, the epitome <laughs> of my career. And yes. that's what I was called. But yes. also speaking of mentors and, and inspiration, yes. I was listening to what you were saying at the top of the show. And a lot of people, we go back 20 years. We go back 20 years. People don't I, know I, yes. the friendship, so to speak. But what she did for me um, as a friend was amazing. I was supposed to do the first two seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race, and I was on the radio. And I'm the sole breadwinner for a family of four, two kids, a husband. They don't eat if I don't work. And uh, my boss wouldn't let me out of my job because he was and I didn't know that at the time. Yes? So when they came back again season three, I told Leah, and she said, if you don't take this job, I'm going to call the head of CBS radio myself for you. And I was like, calm down, mom. You can't do that. And yeah, she's like, I yes, I can, and yes. I will. Yes. And she forced my hand to call them, and they said, Absolutely, of yes. course, go do RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes. And I'm there in yeah. part because of her. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. I love you. Of course. Yeah. And we're like, we're like friends, like where I'm feeling bad, like my really down times, her really down times, like everybody needs that friend, right? Like even though you've been friends for 20 years and you, that, that's not always a friend you, that's good for you. In, who you are now, yeah. right? So sometimes we have to let go of the idea, like, that's my friend from kindergarten. Not everybody's healthy, right? Because you have friends that are gaslighters, you tell them you're depressed, they're like, go oh, get over yourself. Yeah. You know, that's not, you don't need that friend. You need right. a friend who hears you, validates what you're going through. We all have trauma, we've all been through things in our lives, and you need friends who listen to you, who hear you, who are there for you, who pick you up, and this is one of them. And, yeah. I love you. I love you. And to hold your hand when you fly. I did. I did. What was it like flying with me? Tell everybody. Okay. <laughs> there, no, this, it's, a, it's a whole thing. It's like, it's a process. It's a whole thing. So first, I think we have some video of it, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we video. First, yeah. she tried not to. She told me she had a fever. I thought I had a rash. She said she had a rash. Then she has to touch the plane. Then she has to get on with her right foot first. She talks to the plane. I'm not kidding. The first person who's there, she's going to talk to immediately. Tell her the problem. She goes, makes a cross to the pilot. Wishes him good luck. Then he was talking too much. Yes. And I go, check the buttons now. And she's back at the seat. Then she sanitizes. I'm not kidding. For 20, until the plane takes off, we're starting to go down the tarmac. There's a lady who's like, please sit down. Please sit down. She's still sanitizing. Then she sanitizes my area. Then the captain brought her wings. He brought her wings. She loves her wings. And then one of several many wines. I don't drink. That's her wine I'm cheersing her with. <laughs> They're both her wines. <laughs> Not at all ashamed. Not at all ashamed. No. And you should find a friend that puts up with this nonsense. Exactly. <laughs> oh, by the way, you'd think she'd be happy with the safe flight we land. I'm like, you're happy? She turns around and says, no, because we have to make it on the other side of life. Gotta go back. So. That's all I'm thinking about. As soon as we land, I go, thank you, God, so much. But now, get me out, I gotta get back. <laughs> then I start. It's true. It's what she so anyway, did. I posted on Instagram that I was hosting the show, right? Uh, how'd was, that go? Yes, yeah, so, not great. No. <laughs> No, my, my fans, I have the best fans, like I gotta tell you. Like the positivity on my Twitter and Instagram, I'm so blessed, so lucky, same. And I, I, one person comes on and says something nasty. By the way, it might be true. I'm not saying what they're, not, they're saying is not true. Right. But I don't need to hear it, but, okay? <laughs> no, I got family, I got, I got a mother who's honest right. with me. Right. Okay, but let's read some of the comments, shall we? We love this. Love. <laughs> and by the way, now that I'm here, there'll be more comments tomorrow. So yeah. can't wait till tomorrow Great. now yep. because now we'll we'll read some of yours. Oh, can't wait! Yeah. All right. So Miss Pittor said, "Can't stand her. She's rude. Has no talent." <laughs> <laughs> 
True and true. <laughs> you have but talent. But still here. Yeah. But still here. Yeah. Next. Okay. This next one is my favorite. Calamara Sunshine said, Leah Remini is a twerp, see? What? A twerp. <laughs> Who's a twerp? Twerp. I'm Who's gonna put twerp? you in the paddy wagon. And hey, what do you say? Jail. What do you hear, buddy? What are we, from 1942? <laughs> I'm gonna use that Leah one. Leah, are you a twerp? A twerp. A twerp. Okay, MZ, MZ underscore Andrew says. You imagine? She's boring. Maybe she'll bring her celebrity friend Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Sorry, you got. Well, me. I don't know that Jennifer's that entertaining, is she, Lupe? <laughs> <laughs> Lupe! We're kidding. Oh my goodness. Oh my by goodness. the way, that's gonna make a headline, Lupe. Of like course. Leah, Leah's Jennifer's best friend and her mother. <laughs> That'll be like on page six. We got one more. You ready? Sin Lu 19 said, nope. To which Leah said, yep. <laughs> like, could you imagine? I love could it. you imagine, like, people just walking up to you? Because, see, they're strangers, right? Like, yeah. Like, just really, people, I, d social media is so depressing. It could be a depressing place. But could you imagine people walking up to you in the street that you don't know, Norman? Yeah. Rude. You suck. Yeah. Yeah. You're a twerp. That's <laughs> my favorite. You're fat. <laughs> right. K. Like, there would be. Yeah, that things, would never happen in real life. Things would happen because right. people are so used to throwing grenades from afar, uh -huh. right? Keyboard yeah. warriors. Maybe, baby. maybe we can remember, like, you know, let's be kind to each other. We're all going through something, right? Yeah. Not that I mind it. I don't mind it. Because I love seeing people come for people when they say, you don't need to say that. It's not the nicest thing. You can say it, but do you need to say it? Yeah, but then usually when you right? address them, they go, oh my God, I love you so much. I just said that to get your attention. So it's like, oh. wrong way. Oh, okay. Wrong way. All right, so wrong now, way. speaking of that, so, you know, Jonah Hill was recently in the news because he lost all this weight, right? Yeah. And he said he didn't want the compliments. He said, basically what he said is he didn't want it good or bad. He didn't Any. want a compliment. Yeah. Well, by the way, we will not look at each other profile. Correct. <laughs> Because apparently Michelle tells us it's not good. No. That we should not look at each other on no. camera profile. No, I learned that from RuPaul. Okay. Yeah. So that when we talk to each other, we're gonna talk to each other like this. <laughs> but but he didn't want to hear it any either way. Like when I lose one pound, I wanna know like I, I want people to be like, oh my God, you gotta eat Leah. <laughs> right? Are you okay? Do you need to go? I need to eat, I know, I need pasta, I need I need pastries. Yeah, I I, I agree. And I think, you know. The reason he did it. There's been a lot of like just, with Adele. Yes, yeah, yeah. with Adele yeah. on the cover of Vogue, and women, you know, getting mad at her because she was this kind of mega celebrity who was a big girl doing mega celebrity big girl things, and then now she's like a size four. So big girls are like, "Hey, what happened? Right, you we were, were out there for us. We feel betrayed." Right. So that's kind of what's been going on with that. So Jonah Hill was like, "Just keep. Don't. I don't want to hear any of it." Right, but you know, the average woman is a size 12. Thank you. Right, I mean, and we, by the way, we've been on every diet no, known to man. Name it, we've done it. Done it! Drinking cranberry juice, done it. cayenne pepper, All meat. packaged food, Yes. not eating large amounts of food, done it. certain amount of time, yep. don't eat past five, yep. on this one, on that done. one, this, yep. that. Uh -huh. And it's depressing. It's depressing yeah. because it doesn't matter what other people say, right? No. In com you can't compare yourself. It's how you feel about yourself. That's it. Right? And I get depressed about it. You get to, she gets so depressed, she won't have sex with her husband. No, if you. <laughs> no, I mean, you know no, that's true. Don't be owing us. I've been married for almost 25 years. And me so too. It's yeah. the same thing every yeah. night. So yeah. when you're not feeling. I, I love you, honey. I love no, you. No, no, no. It's about the way you feel. If exactly. You don't, feel, you don't want to get naked. You don't want exactly. to get them want feeling to things, things in the yellow. You understand what I'm saying? Thank right? you. Yeah, have you, you are clearly married. You understand what we're saying, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. There's, you know, body shaming. And when you don't feel inside, you know, have a good image of yourself, you don't want somebody touching you at all. And it all. doesn't we're matter not... that they say they love you. Our husbands say they don't yeah, care what I, we I look like. But it's just us. I mean, you know, it's the way we feel about ourselves, right? And we should be in a place, yes, where we feel good about ourselves regardless, because it's society saying, right? It's the advertiser saying, it's the movie, it's, it's the movie industry saying, 
that this guy is married to this twerp who's a size zero. <laughs> this one, you know, TV and film and advertisers, they have the responsibility to make a size 12 normal women and above the norm, I right? Think. Yeah, and the worst part of it? Yeah. It's true, it's true. And the worst part of it, as you were saying, yeah. is we body shame ourselves. Selves. Yeah. We go to bed at night shaming ourselves. Self. There's no place for that anymore. But yet my husband walked into my closet. No! My, my husband has not seen me in the daylight or light. Okay, naked. Okay. So what happened? In a long time, since right. I'm 25, okay? Suzanne, you know, come on. You know what I'm saying. You're skinny, so don't even, <laughs> actually don't even talk to me. Okay. No, you're naked and he you're- He walked into my closet, and I was standing there like a stranger had walked into my house. I, Michelle, he walked, I, he walked in, I was like, whatever, I was just all out, so you like, whatever. You, you know, yeah, yeah, everything, everything out. out, everything He walks in, I'm like, what are you doing? I feel ya. Did he get lucky from that? Did he get lucky? I almost divorced him. I go, why? He goes, I just want to know what time I got to be ready to go. Get out! I'll text you! What about you? Well, the last time that happened was we were, you know, having our intimate time and I wasn't feeling good, but I'm doing my wifely duties and I was wearing a shirt. I didn't want to take the shirt we're off. We're saying I we have sex, to. we don't want to. That's what we're saying. We're not saying we don't, we just don't want to. I was exaggerating. It's, right. it's got nothing to do with him. Okay, anyway, ahead. long story short, he tried to pull the shirt up to get to the whatever's left of my boobs. And I was like, my stomach is out. What are you doing? What an animal. What are you doing? What kind of animal? Thank you. <laughs> up next. <laughs> We're gonna be talking with dancing with the stars. No, we're not gonna be talking with dancing. No, with we the stars. could try. We're gonna be talking dancing with the stars.